Hello and welcome. In this new case of probability distribution, we are going to study a simple case of an insurance company or more precisely a life insurance company. The case with us is suppose an insurance company offers a 45 years old man the age is in material particularly to study the case a rupees 1000 one year term insurance policy for an annual premium of rupees 12 this is the important information a one year term in life insurance policy of rupees 1000 that means in case of incidence of death of the policy holder or the life assured the insurance company will pay rupees 1000 to the nominee of the person and the premium for one year is rupees 12 assume that number of deaths per thousand is 5 for this for the persons in this age group 45 that means 44 years and 6 months to 45 years and 6 months that is called 45 years because we have to take age of a person in a round figure or in integer value so a person having age more than one uh, sorry one day more than 44 years and 6 months is called 45 years till the last day of 45 years and 6 months what is the expected gain for insurance company on a policy of this type this is a very simple case life insurance business or accounting of life insurance business is not that much easy but just we want to study the case with respect to probability or probability distribution now what exactly can happen <clears throat> suppose insurance company sells a one year insurance policy of rupees 1000 and in the inception the company takes rupees 12 as premium now there are two possibilities at the end of first year either during the year the policy holder dies and the company has to pay rupees 1000 in that case what will exactly happen the company receives premium of rupees 12 and has to pay policy amount of rupees 1000 or death claim of rupees 1000 so ultimately in this incidence or in this type of event of death the company has to bear a loss or negative gain of rupees 988 the event death the gain will be minus 988 how 12 rupees premium is received and 1000 rupees death claim is paid and what is the probability of this type of incidence Assume that number of deaths per thousand is 5 for the persons in this age group. 5 per thousand, that is the probability. Number of deaths, uh, number of cases in favor of death 5. Against total number of cases of 1000. Actually, it, it can be 5C1 upon 1000 C1. Now, other thing, the mutually exclusive and exhaustive cases of this case. Another is the person, the policy holder doesn't die. That means no death. At the end of the year of the policy, the person remains in existence. That means in the inception, the company take or received a premium of rupees 12 and the company has not to pay anything. That means the entire amount of rupees 12 is gain this is actually premium minus death claim in case of death now what is the probability of this incidence out of 1000 if we believe that 5 actually dies then 995 remains in case of no death. So now we have the probability distribution of gain which we prepared on the basis of the information about the 
death and no death. So now minus 988 into 5 by 1000, it comes to rupees 4.94. And 12 into 995 by 1000 comes to 11.94. This is negative amount. This is positive amount. 11.94. So ultimately the net is rupees 7. This is nothing but expected value of X. And what is X? It is gain. So expected gain of the insurance company equals to rupees 7. Now let us reconcile that. Suppose the company sells this kind of policy to exactly 1000. What will happen? The company will receive premium of rupees 12 into 1000 that is 12,000. Out of which 5 persons will die. So the company will have to pay death claim of rupees 1000 into 5 that is 5000 so net gain of the company is rupees 7000 but on 1000 policies of this kind so gain or average gain per policy will be rupees 7000 total gain on 1000 policies divided by 1000 policies so it comes to rupees 7 per policy. Yes, so expected value is nothing, it is average. That's it. Thank you very much.